So anyway, that was kind of the, uh, that was something funny that happened this morning, a nice coincidence. All right. Uh, well, with that out of the way, uh, I guess now we'll actually start recording. Uh, so let's see. I don't really have like a proper intro for this series. So uh, hi, everyone. Welcome to Last Stand. This is game 609, and I am joined by Ben, a.k.a. Swimwater. Say hi, Ben. Welcome back to Primo Doesn't Have a Life, and when he does, <laughs> he doesn't upload for a year. True. Um, so, SAS is basically the only community that Ben is not involved in that I am involved in. Uh, well, so... I try to get involved, and they banned me after, like, ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was so funny. I think we're actually coming up on 4,000 members, if you want to do that again. I, I'm banned. I... <laughs> yeah, I can I can unban you. <laughs> That's true. You do have admin privileges. <laughs> I was like, haha, they kicked me, and then I clicked the invite league. It's like, nope, banned. <laughs> <laughs> Minor inconvenience. I was like, oh, they actually full sent that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to rob them of their large milestone number for the uh, second time. <laughs> they were so bad the first time. Yeah. I also um, still think I'm your all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was funny too. Um, I mean, between you, Felix, and a few other people, I could have like ten alts for all anyone knows. Because <laughs> Felix, I do have alts. <laughs> <laughs> Felix's username is the Oremo Z. She like did is that. It as, really? Yeah. That was like <laughs> first thing she did when she joined. It was really funny, and everyone keeps confusing her for me. Like every time that <laughs> we're both typing. It's like, is that Primo's alt? <laughs> I was disappointed that you banned everyone that that snuck onto your private server. <laughs> I I admire that. You actually <laughs> had the balls to do that. <laughs> so I'm many jokes like... that no one's going to know. <laughs> is this really Primo's server? And then I just see they're not on the member list anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Shoutouts to uh, Masalina and Albert for managing to join before I got rid of the link. I had to make two links, and then I got banned. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. I guess context. Who are you? You are... I am Primo's longtime friend, starting from middle school, but we knew each other beforehand, and I had completely forgot about it until both him and his mom are like yeah i was there <laughs> do we have any idea how we met well swim club initially our parents met then and we knew each other however i didn't actually remember you from swim club <laughs> didn't become like, didn't proper friends until club. probably like what seventh grade i think we were in technology class together during our rotations oh the way yeah that school did classes was yeah. that our middle school did classes was that you had the option of band choir or three classes that were in like a weird rotation yeah um because we were in trimesters right yeah we we had like the same first class yep. like first trimester uh i don't remember if we had the same second and third I think we did because of the antics we got to on Scratch. Oh, my God. And also the amount of times I threw your shoes underneath <laughs> the risers in drama class. Oh, true, true. Uh, I know we also had band together. We both played clarinet. That yeah. definitely helped. Yeah, we probably knew each other in sixth grade then. I don't think we were in the same band sixth grade, but I, I do know that we like met or knew of each other at that point because we had yeah. some friend crossover. And, and at the same time, there was um, like clarinet lessons every other week, right? On like yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. But yeah, I think so we, we were, were in we were separate acquainted. bands. Mm -hmm. We were definitely acquainted in sixth grade, sixth grade, and then we became friends in seventh. And we started sitting together at lunch. Uh, so originally, it was just Tommy... I don't remember if I'm supposed to DOS people's names. Um, <laughs> I, I don't think anyone cares. Tommy's a pretty standard name. Yeah. Um, regardless. But you can for probably the sake just of me making up the other two names, it was um, Just say like first initial or something. Kyle and Chad. <laughs> <laughs> I I have no idea who those are referring to. Uh 
Kyle being the one who is similar to muscles, if that triggers something in your brain? Uh, not immediately. You could literally just say, like, first initial, and I would probably get it. R. Oh, yeah, okay. Got that one. <laughs> Wasn't his brother named Kyle? Yeah, actually it was. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Coincidence. Uh... <laughs> I just and, said two of like the stereotypical Chad names, <laughs> and then and then was Chad like J? I think. Uh, no. Hold on, I just knew this. I don't know why I'm <laughs> blanking now. Well, J. I, yeah, yeah my, minor J. minor details. Um, it, it is minor details. Well, it's okay because you don't edit your videos, so they get to hear everything. <laughs> yeah, I could edit it. I would edit out the boring parts, except. This video is more about the commentary than the gameplay, so there are no boring welcome, parts. Welcome to the Primo podcast. He made the mistake of making me a guest. <laughs> yes. I've taken a lot of influence from podcasts recently, <laughs> especially with the whole like cold open thing. They've all I've been listening to, um, and it, it it's entirely Markiplier's fault with Distractable. <laughs> obligatory listen to well there's your problem uh best <laughs> podcast I, I do still need to actually listen to that one despite you telling me i needed to i i will send you a few links of really good episodes we're on wave seven by the way this is going really fast there's waves mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. left side i kind of forgot how it works <laughs> <laughs> yeah basically we sit here for about 10 minutes and then we win hmm well, you sit there for about 10 minutes and win. I do <laughs> minimal damage to things and then get a lot of XP from it. Yes. Um, so 6th grade, 7th grade, 8th grade. Uh, are there any notable things throughout the rest of middle school? Uh, there was, like, Minecraft, I guess. That's, like, the main thing that we played the fuck out of. It's not even, like, a middle school thing. It's still a thing. It, it was kind of. Well, yeah, but, like, it started in middle school. <clears throat> Um, did. I remember the school server, the school survival server that like a couple of the kids. Hosted. Oh yeah, that was uh, I think like Neb hosted that. I got that... banned. <laughs> <laughs> I I remember that server because I have a screenshot of like there was a desert by spawn, and I have a screenshot of me up on a hill looking at it, and it's just littered with creeper holes. <laughs> <laughs> That's like one of the oldest screenshots I still have on my computer. Uh, I may or may not put that on the screen right now, but it is beautiful. Something... <laughs> so... <laughs> I think one of our, I don't remember if this happened high school or middle school, but Maze Runner. Oh, no, that was, that was 2014, I think. So we were like seventh grade, eighth grade. Maze Boston Runner. Way. Oh, hello. Um, was our, here, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, there aren't any worms anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Explosions dealt, did all the work. You're welcome. <laughs> anyway. Maze Runner, yes. Maze Runner, I loved the book series. And there was a Minecraft game generated off of it that was essentially multiplayer... Uh, PvP. PvP, defend your own base kind of thing. There was this terrible woman named the princess who <laughs> ate more food than like starving children in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Like like whenever the, the princess had like a food meter, so you had to constantly feed her. It was part of the game. And whenever it got too low, she would say like, "I'm hungry, please feed me." And every time we saw that message, we would all just scream, "Shut up! Shut up! Don't care!" <laughs> oh, that was fun. The, the insults we threw at her would be enough to throw us in jail in public <laughs> <laughs> for just harassment. We were very edgy 12-year-olds. <laughs> it wasn't even just edgy. We just hated <laughs> annoying pop-ups every five minutes. Fair. Anyone um, would. She turned out to actually be a detriment in the in a future, in the continuation of this story. But <laughs> yeah, I remember... Reverse. Grievers that existed, and um, they did a lot of damage. Okay, copy-paste doesn't work. Cool. <laughs> oh, I can't spell. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. All right, I actually need to use my brain for this as I'm talking. <laughs> I remember we very regularly, 
We, we had this thing where we tried to, like, flood the entire map and then, like, build, like, a dirt roof over the map. Yes, uh, exactly. So Yeah, and we would very goal. regularly just forget to feed the princess, <laughs> and then she would starve and die. <laughs> the issue with this is that we have very limited, like, tools and resources. So we're, we're mining a, like, 70 by 70 square plot with, like, wooden shovels. <laughs> um, while... Uh, after like a 30 minute to 40 minute setup of uh, griever proving our base, which the way you did that is you built a wall like seven blocks tall. And then if you placed water, then they couldn't down, explode. Gonna, then they couldn't explode and blow up the blocks. So that was the way to like survive indefinitely because you could just grow food. <laughs> uh, and uh, there, there was a class that let you grow just infinite wheat instantly. And it was a lot of fun. Oh my but... God. I remember that. <laughs> The green thumb Didn't they class. have custom classes for a while, and we just made yeah, the most overpowered class custom came. classes? <laughs> All the custom classes were really broken, <laughs> but we uh, we sat down once one fateful summer day to finally complete our goal, and uh, we'd come up with a new strategy where we end up on different teams, and um, that way all the teams don't get eliminated and we can just we don't have to worry about working. the other team just being dumb and quitting three hours into this project i it it took a stupid long time for no good reason like they're just <laughs> there was no easy way of of getting this this done and um primo's princess dies <laughs> killing him immediately and ending the game rip so we're, we're three hours in our base like we're half done like mining like we're, we've mined all the dirt and at this point we're half done placing the dirt above and at this point we didn't know what like speed bridging was or anything like that so we're not <laughs> we're not placing this dirt very quickly <laughs> and um, <laughs> we were 12 it was 2014 <laughs> no one knew what speed bridging was and when it died like both of us just deflated we're like, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> like tragic what? loss like what is going on? And we went again, and we we somehow messed up and ended up on the same team. And Primo was like, "Let's just, you know, like I let's give up and whatever." And I'm still like salty from the last one. Like whatever, <laughs> let's run it. Let's run it through. Two hours in, the game's still going, and we're both sitting here like, "Oh, this is a little interesting." Like I'm kind of surprised that maybe we this, can win like, this. Guy, yeah, like maybe we can do this. Um, bless his soul. I have his name. It was like Tinker Fifty Five. <laughs> Didn't he like show up at our base? He came to our base with his princess <laughs> and was like, "What's up?" And we told him our plan, and he was down. <laughs> he was in for it, and he stayed with us the re rem the remainder of this project, from start to finish of our second attempt on that day, was five hours. Was this it this completely <laughs> random human stayed with us for every second of it. I don't remember it, it being fantastic. that long, but I mean, I don't doubt it. The reason I remember how long it took is because I had limits, for the most part, of how long I could be on the computer. Mainly because it was summertime and my parents didn't want me to be a bum. <laughs> so, <laughs> which is reasonable. <laughs> Fair. And uh, we hit, like, the six-hour mark, and my parents are like, you need to get off the computer. You've been on it for six hours. <laughs> and I, I'm trying to explain to them, like a kid who's trying to explain to their, you know, way-aged parents that multiplayer games can't be paused. And uh, they're just like, get off of it in the next 20 minutes. Two hours later, I'm grounded. <laughs> grounded i got in trouble <laughs> <laughs> worth it <laughs> but we finished our goal and my parents didn't hate me for it so. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's funny uh we are now uh almost 15 minutes into the recording and we're still in just middle school <laughs> we still have well, to we didn't get... go to the same high school so yeah despite that, that, the, that's, the that's sky that's... giant and bed wars trilogy we did all of that online and less of it was yeah interaction of, of uh of us in the in the same building at least yeah that that was really the next step is um we went to the same middle school but my neighborhood is really weird and how they handle like school districts because america 
Um, Your neighborhood has a school inside of it. I almost went there, and then I didn't. And then they, like, told me a few years later, like, hey, you want to come here now? And by that time, I was already in third grade and pretty established at this other school. Uh, anyways, yeah, point is, we went to different high schools, um, but still stayed friends, still stayed with kind of the same group. I think it was, like, I went to one place, you, Tommy... And basically everyone else... No, wait, Tommy went to that other one, the, like, private yeah. school. Um, he went to the private school. Basically everyone else went to your school, though, I think. Yeah. Tommy, Tommy would have been... Would have gone to the same school as me. He was in the same district, but he uh, he went to the private school. Because <laughs> he's fancy boy. He's fancy. Well, to be fair, his whole family went there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Minor detail. I didn't actually well, I don't know. know. I, his brother and sister did. I don't know if his parents did. Hmm. I don't remember. I can't remember now if his parents were local or not. I went to the same <laughs> schools as my dad because he's local. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, well, more middle school stuff. I don't know how much you remember this, but my speaker that I carried around. Oh yeah, you you pranking the tech class teacher <laughs> and getting it confiscated. For 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, around this time, I got obsessed with Perry Grip, It's Raining Tacos. Oh, my Still God. love that song. <laughs> I still know most of it. I just think it's a great song. But with this, I had a, a Bluetooth speaker that I got, and it was a nice cube. It was from a company called Beam. And while the, the speakers were fantastic, the charging port wasn't, so it broke. <laughs> um, but I, I had that for one or two years. And uh, at one point, while we were sitting in tech class, we got bored, as <laughs> as you tend to do in do. middle school. <laughs> and um, I hooked my phone up to it, shoved it under a desk in some corner of the room, <laughs> and randomly play paused Perry Griffith's <laughs> raining talk. Oh, that was so funny. It's not like the teacher was talking or anything. Like, we were just sitting in class, like, silently doing work, and I was just, it's <laughs> Rain. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I got in trouble for that one. Mild trouble. He confiscated the speaker, made me uh, admit that it was me, and then gave it back and was like, just don't. <laughs> <laughs> that teacher was very cool. He was he was awesome. Um the class, I will say though, was really boring. <laughs> True. Yay. Uh... Despite his best efforts, it just Oh, there's only money yeah. in the back room. It just okay. wasn't amazing. That was game 6-10. Um, yep. <laughs> this is getting kind of long. I might have to split this into two parts. That's okay. I, I can talk for hours about the stuff that we did. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically, I did, and you witnessed and cringed heavily sometimes. <laughs> yeah, a lot of this has kind of faded from memory, so you are definitely the authority here. My brain's great because once I start talking about one thing, it's like walking down a river. <laughs> it's <laughs> like, hey, another thing. Hey, another thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, shoes. The river has a lot of branches. <laughs> <laughs> Gets a little scattered sometimes. It's like the Mississippi. <laughs> okay, I want to make sure. Am I at 61? I am at 61. Okay. Um, talking about the Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> another rant 